Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to introduce to you an excellent hotel with picturesque landscape and design known as Ameriha. This building dates back to 300 years ago when Zan dynasty ruling over Iran and some part of it damaged by passing years until cultural heritage organization designated a special budget to renovate it. The renovation process took five years and now this building is turned into a magnificent hotel and a tourist attraction. This structure has 7,000 square meters floor area with 85 rooms, 5 courtyards plus covered areas. This house is among luxurious places in Kaushan city. At the first external section, we have a grand courtyard with flower beds and a giant pool in the middle of it. And at both sides, there are several booths for showing off the handicrafts and selling them. At one end, there is a living room for receiving and serving guests and at the other end there are some beds for sitting in the covered area which has a small pool with narrow channels that connected to an aqueduct to feed them. There are some paraphernalia for making rose water, which I will explain more about them. Rooms at both sides were used during winter season. They are designed in a way to be at the exposure of sunlight, to be warmer in cold seasons. Internal section consisted of two covered areas, which are a living room and a summer resort that is located at the end of the courtyard and has several beds for sitting in addition to flower pots and a pool that create a cozy calm place for visitors. This part becomes cool by two colossal wind towers that catch the wind and guide them through channels down to the summer resort and basement. In the summer resort we have a special place with unique carvings on the walls and niches. At one side there are residential rooms for visitors and there is a basement which has some handicrafts, which I will elaborate more on them.
In the second external section, you can see sophisticated architecture and beautiful design in the courtyard, which make this part distinguished. At one end, we have a splendid living room with ornate ceilings. This part also has a spacious basement and balconies overlooking the courtyard. There are some residential areas in this part too. At the porch, there are chairs and tables for sitting and eating. Paintings on the ceilings are created by eminent artists. In Iranian architecture, doors and windows were built in odd numbers to create a symmetrical design. This feature makes the durability of the whole structure higher. Not to mention that in this part we have two floors. The upper one was used by women and lower one by men during special ceremonies. Also there are some small parts in the upper floor which were used in spring season as a resting place. Due to climate of this city, which is hot and dry most of the year, pools and flower beds are inseparable elements from Iranian architecture, as well as wind towers that have pivotal role in cooling of this part. In another section, there is a resort with native pillows, quilts, and decorations to simulate the real life in that time. There are some small tables in the middle of these booths, and beneath them they use charcoal. This appliance is used as a heater. They put quilt and blanket on the table to maintain the heat. Living rooms have colorful windows and amazing decorations made of mirror tiles on the walls and ceilings. These parts were used for holding special ceremonies like weddings in that time. So architectures pay noticeable attention in the designing process of them. Most of living rooms 
have five or seven doors that open and close vertically. Mirror tiles, in addition to aesthetic aspect, they reflect the light and in turn they make the inside of the rooms lighter. Nowadays, these rooms are used as a restaurant for special guests. In the past, there were some places with perforated domes used as a conference hall as well as receiving guests. This structure has a lofty ceiling and now it is used as a lobby. In other parts, there are carvings on the walls, especially around the fireplaces. These carvings look like plants, flowers, and animals. There is an octagonal place with a beautiful pool in the middle of it that is used as a cafe. At both sides we have rooms for reservation and all of them have doors and windows that open toward this view. On the walls there are some carvings look like plants and flowers and a portrait of Qajar king. At the entrance of each door you can see some patterns made of plaster that double down the uniqueness of this structure. This place has a variety of native foods, cuisines, salad, you name it, and all of them are delectable. If you ever decided to come to Kashan city, don't forget to drop by and try these delicious foods. We have another secluded part that is used by guests and it also has flower beds and pools. 
and has two floors. Pools have fountains and make a serene and pleasant mood for guests. There is a kitchen near of this port and some chairs and tables as well for sitting and enjoying the view. In the basement there are special motifs on the ceiling that show another aspect of impressive Iranian architecture. This port has every kind of amenities to create a perfect place for gathering and having a good time. In the first external port there are some big pots for making rose water as well as some boots for selling them as souvenirs. There is an appliance in another basement to show how carpets were weaved in that time, which was a time-consuming, arduous task. In the next part we have clay dishes which were used in the past. These dishes glazed with unique materials to maintain the liquids inside of them, especially vinegar and pickles. Other clay dishes are simple and were used for keeping flour. Clay pitcher was used for keeping water. This pitcher has perforated body like a sponge and let a little water pass through it. Then water in the body absorbed the heat and evaporated. That in turn made the water of the inside of the pitcher cool in scorching seasons. Old lamps burned kerosene or fat sheep to light the environment. People used old chairs to put their clothes in them, in order to keep them away from moths. Doors look like lattice to pass through the air current and worked as a natural air conditioner. On the roof there are some domes with glasses which work as a skylight and some chimneys to lead the smoke away. In that time ceilings were built in arch form to endure the pressure of building as well as avoid accumulation of water from precipitation on the roof. Another interesting feature of this place is secret tunnels which lead to a hideout that was used in case of war and designated to shelter women and children. 
Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Let me know your opinion in the comment section. And if you like, please subscribe to my channel and wait for new videos.